So here's a great tip for molecular cloning, for doing ligations. They used to take a long time with ligase having to incubate at 16 degrees overnight. And there have been kits out there where the ligase works a lot faster. So these kits have ligases in them that work at room temperature and they only take five to 10 minutes. And you'd think, wow, that must be some super ligase in there. But actually, it's the exact same ligase that usually works overnight, just the buffer is different. So if you want to speed up your ligation and not spend obnoxious amounts of money on like a speedy kit, you can just do your own buffer that costs virtually nothing and take regular ligase. That's what we do. So for the buffer, I use 132 millimolar Tris, um, titrated with HCl to pH 7.6. Then there is 20 millimolar magnesium chloride in it, 2 millimolar DTT, 2 millimolar ATP, and 15% PEG, which makes the buffer viscous and slows down the loose ends of the DNA, so the ligase has a better chance of catching them. And that's why it actually works at room temperature within 5 or 10 minutes. So the buffer that comes out of it is a 2 times buffer, which means you put together your backbone and your insert and then you match whatever amount that is preferably below 10 microliters with the same amount of buffer and then you add 0.7 microliters of the ligase have it sit for five to ten minutes at room temperature put it in ice and continue the ligation and the transformation and that's really easy and the original recipe maybe I should say that calls for PEG 6000 but I've also tried PEG 3350 and PEG 8000 and they work just as well. So we can all save a lot of money and a lot of time which is a good thing um, with this simple solution to the ligation problem. There.